I love plants, you know. That is the, the main thing of all. I love the way they change, the dynamics, and the beauty of everything that you can see in them. Even if plants are in decay, I know how beautiful they were when they were in flower, but I think if you see them at this time of the year, you don't expect anything else than plants dying. And still looking good. When Pete, he works in this very, very intuitive way. He plants as an artist paints. What Pete has done is achieve this synthesis all the excitement and the dynamism and the seasonal change of natural environments, but in a way that above all it kind of emotionally speaks to people. I think in combining the beauty of nature and the beauty of uh, human design skills, of, of art. These are the drawings for Durslaid. This is a meadow of uh, one and a half acre. There's a complex of farmhouses that's going to be renovated and to become a gallery and also a place where the artist can stay. The garden is meant to get lost in, so it's quite big. I feel very much connected with Dursley and the people that ask me to do the garden. There's so much art that you like because of the aesthetics. But contemporary art is not about not always about the aesthetics, it's about people that try to step over a line or a threshold and think that the beauty is there, while it is maybe not there. Seeing beauty in ugliness or beauty in death, beauty in um, decay, beauty in the unexpected. I think that is uh, maybe part of my life too, you know. What I try to create with gardens is, of course, beauty, but the moment you say that I love plants that are dead, then you have a problem, because people don't like dead plants. And I think it's the journey in your life to find out what real beauty is, of course, but also discover beauty in things that are, on the first sight, not beautiful.